Fish wheels to catch salmon from the river. Yeah, see the wooden. Yeah. That's like a paddle, right? So, you know, fall down and then the water will push that one again. So, yeah, it's just like an old mill, basically. This is Chitna. I'm sure it took a shot on the way in, but...
This is Lake Louise near Glen Allen, where we are spending one night on our way to Fairbanks.
last of the glaciers till we get to Denali Park. Pipeline here goes above water, like the bridge. So, it is one of 800 such crossings. This is the Tanana River. In the height of summer, there will be more water here with the snows melting. Yeah, just yeah. behind her. Yeah. Oh. 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 
Last night we arrived in Fairbanks and this morning we heard the news about the plane crashes and other terrorist activities in lower 48. I hope our departures in four days time will not be affected by this. This is downtown Fairbanks. Jenna River in Angkor and Fairbanks. Wow. You still can't see the end? This is the Nenana River. I think it's probably used to American flights. It's only American. It's just. It's the same. It's going a different way. 
Make a speech, Marcus. <laughs> Not now, later, later on. You are in the frame. On the winter, when the winter starts, the Tanana River here on the right side will get frozen, totally frozen. After that, put also on the ice, make they made a little hole, put it in there, put water on the top, and it's totally frozen in the river. Then they have got two lines to this building here and the watch in here by the watchman was in this building you can see the watch is still there and then they wait till the ice breaks in the spring somewhere in the beginning of the year um, they started to make bets on it you can pay two dollars for each bet and the half of the money of everything which comes together um, will pay it out. It means last few years. My name is Chester. I'm glad to come to visit with us. Good, nice to know you. Thank you very much. Right. And this is your shop. They go down river along the Yukon River. They come to they come to here and then they go down river by the uh, people think that this is the gold mining town, but this is a railroad and, and, and dry land port. I'm from the western coast of uh, I'm from the western coast of uh, uh, Alaska called Inuit Cape. Northern Town Bear and Chief has made me a full blown Inuit. And, uh, I'm very pleased to have met He started his company in my hometown and he spread throughout the whole state of Alaska and then and then later um, with the infiltration of the big uh, Russian fur companies and then the visitation of other, other countries. Uh, Alaska was becoming well known and famous for its gold since that point. So we have a lot of history in Alaska. Some of it controversial, but still, uh, as in the case now, we are probably the most economically viable country in all the world. We have untapped resources, you know, that have never yes. really been uh, tapped as of yet. Small country. 
you know, big state. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing that most people uh, in the in the state itself think that we are a separate country than from uh, the, the rest of the United yeah, States. Yeah. Uh, some of us still believe that we should be that way. We even have uh, political organizations that believe that it should happen.